Yeah, hi. Uh, we are at the Mercedes-Benz booth today and we had a riveting um, presentation from Rigel, who's here with us, who's the principal engineer for contextual intelligence and user predictive experience as well. Hi, Rigel. Welcome. To Thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Rigel, uh, had you, had, you gave an explanation about contextual intelligence during your presentation. So what is the basic underlying technology behind this? So um, all of our technology is based off of deep learning, which I think some of our viewers may be uh, sort of familiar with. It's been quite popular in the media recently. And we're using it uh, to sort of uh, enable all of our UI to sort of be machine learning based. So it can adapt and evolve uh, sort of as people use it. So, uh, like I asked, uh, like you were mentioning, so most of this is on on board, right? The processing, right? So, in our companion app, which we've announced today, or the update to the companion app that we've announced today, all of the learning happens sort of on the phone itself. And in our future uh, native solutions, um, um, the processing will be happening uh, in the car itself. So, we have a, a lot of challenge to try to get our solutions to work uh, on the uh, sort of embedded hardware. So the underlying technology is developed uh, completely in-house with your research team? Yeah, so we have a research team uh, that uh, tries to find uh, sort of ways to apply deep learning to these sort of use cases. Um, so we rely a lot on some of the great advancements from other researchers, and we've pushed the bar a little bit ourselves. So I, I would say it's, it's a, a overall a large collaboration between sort of many industries. Uh, can you give us a brief overview of what you're doing with your combined uh, your companion apps with this, as in like the door-to-door -door navigation you're talking about now. Is there anything beyond that for now? Right, so uh, the idea of door-to-door -door Navi uh, is that instead of having to go into your vehicle uh, and then type in the address, you can be sitting at your home uh, and type the address on your phone, and then the phone will route you to where your car is. As you step into the car, the, uh, the route will be transferred seamlessly into the vehicle without any interaction from the user. The car will route you to your destination. Wherever you end up parking, uh, the phone will then do walking directions to your final destination. So we really do bring you door to door. So the companion app uh, is an app for the iPhone. Uh, you can see it here. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Uh, at the top, I can select between my different vehicles I have it's attached to. Right now, it's attached to my C-Class Coupe. Um, down here, I have the predicted destinations. So right now, perhaps at the convention center, it uh, is saying that maybe I want to go to my hotel, which is actually pretty accurate. Um, I can select this, and it will automatically uh, sort of set up things ready to go. Um, it'll give me walking directions to my vehicle, and then tell my vehicle to give me directions to the hotel. Or I can enter find a destination, uh, type in uh, a POI or uh, or a, PO, a POI or an address here, and do it manually. You'll also see that in the screen, um, it'll also populate the suggestions here, so I can click those directly, which I'll go ahead and do. Um, and I can just click send to car. And uh, even though I'm perhaps at home and my car's not on and all this sort of stuff, uh, the moment the phone connects to the vehicle, it'll send this information to the vehicle and everything is seamless. Now one of the key parts of this, of course, is you have to enter the destination on your phone to start. And so this is where we started adding the machine learning intelligence to improve this. Uh, so we actually will predict where you're going to enter and offer that. So maybe you look at your phone because you want to head to some destination. You see it right there and you go, oh, there it is. And you just click it and it happens. So how is this predicting happening? Uh, we look at everywhere you drive the car to, or I should say the phone and the car looks everywhere the, where, the, uh, every, where, where you drive to, and then tries to find the underlying patterns in your routines. So if you go to work frequently, or if you have a favorite, say, grocery store or a favorite restaurant, um, if you go to under some you know, sort of context, uh, then in those contexts, we can surface those on the app. What's next after the door to door Navi for this? What's the use case, next use case? That's a, that's a big question. Well, there's a lot more uh, to head units than just navigation. So I think you'll expect that a lot of the other features you can find uh, uh, in both the companion app and in the native solutions uh, will be enabled with very similar machine learning technologies. When is that expected? Uh, uh, soon. <laughs> Sooner than you think. <laughs> so what's the role of NVIDIA in this? What's the bigger role NVIDIA has got to play with this? So GPUs have become the sort of hardware for machine learning. Uh, and of course, we have a partnership with NVIDIA, um, which is great. Uh, and they're going to be a key enabler uh, to allow us to get um, our uh, sort of complex algorithms to run fast enough within the vehicle. So we depend very heavily on their GPU technology. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, uh, Rigel. It was great talking to you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.